I'll tell you what, guys. California, you know, it might be full of a lot of aggressively unemployed actors who, no matter what job they have, are acting at you. The produce here is so fresh. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and and limon. Limons. I have tiny lemons with hot water and honey to keep my cords clean. Who knows if it works? Maybe I'm suffering irreparable vocal damage. But I guess we'll just have to wait till, the, till I visit the old ENT to see if I'm, if I'll never sing again. I'm on the last leg, as they say, of my tour of We Will Rock You. We've been across this whole mighty nation, from the north to the south, to Mexico, to Canada. That's the fancy way to say, to say Canada. It was my birthday a couple days ago. I'm now 28 years old. Do, do I got crow's feet? What are they called? Why? With the animal names. The turkey neck, crow's feet, like pig nose. Is that one of them? Do people say pig nose? I'd like to add that one, which is someone who's got like a, like a fat nostril. Like, they look a little swine-like. We got two great guests today. Our very first Three-person interview! Holy shit, Jared, how'd you do it? Colin Hanlon and Max Von Essen. These are my first return guests and my first three-way, <laughs> as you said, right? No, I said threesome. Threesome? <laughs> are we Broadway's new thruple? You guys are Broadway, because you've stepped foot on a Broadway stage. This interview's like, <laughs> it's a good I have, year. I haven't been on Broadway since the Clinton administration. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Hillary will win and then you'll be able to- Which show was that? Was that the one where you were the gay guy in the play about AIDS? <laughs> Which, Which one? Narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. Would you say that that's kind of your calling card when someone's doing a play about AIDS? They're like, let's get Colin in here. Yeah, especially a musical. Nobody dies and cries like Colin Hamlin on stage. <laughs> How's your crying on stage? Not that great. You can't just say to me, like, cry. Oh, forget it. I gotta be in it. Kind of not good. Well, someone's, I believe, doing an episode of The Good Wife. <laughs> I booked an episode, I'm doing like a one day guest spot. Already cutting it down. And it was, yeah. It was this great two page scene, like really juicy. Less juice now. I just got the new script and it's really like five, half a page. Juiceless. So I'm just hoping I actually get called to the set. Yeah, or you'll get edited out. Yeah. Okay. Talk about work on the screen. Very exciting. Submissions only. I'm, I'm happy to say that he still hasn't put me on the show. I don't know how many times I got to bring him on my show until he gets the hint. It's true. How's it going? <laughs> Great. So we, uh, we're, in, we're in post now. So we. Um, that's, we that's fancy actor talk. Tell, what? Explain post. Post is when you edit it all together, put it all together, you put all the filters, all, all the pictures of I cats. Like you if make, I put a picture of a cat on his face right now, the yeah. cat. That's what I do that's in post. It's the sound effects, it's the editing, it's all the stuff that happens after you. I'm labeled as a co producer, so I kind of am like the jack of all trades. Co producer? Does that mean that you put money up for it? Because you're broke, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm very broke. But yes, I put a lot of my own money up. And uh, now we, we did a great Kickstarter. We raised uh, almost maybe 65, 63,000. Could you imagine yeah. all the drugs you could buy with that? We, we, don't, we don't have to imagine. Well, let's talk about that. If you guys could do any drug right now, uh, what would it be? Um, what are the kids calling it these days? I would try Molly. the Molly. 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 What does it do to you? What does it make me feel? I guess it makes you feel happy, but I'm always happy. Feel like you're in ecstasy. But I feel like you kind of wear that as a cloak for your sadness. <laughs> That's what I do. Maybe I'm just projecting that. Let me drink more. <laughs> you're still gay, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Since our last interview, when, I was when he was single and on the prowl... Now I'm taken. Isn't that wonderful? Sorry, ladies. It is wonderful. He found love in a hopeless place. <laughs> I'm in love, guys, since you asked. You found love. Thanks for asking, We were guys. getting there! Guys, I found my queen. <laughs> He knows her. I do. He thinks he did a reading love with her. her. Everyone knows her. To Whitney Basher. We love you. We're the best. People might not know, you guys are already friends, right? Yeah. yeah. Long time. Over 10 years. He's had a crush on me for 10 years. <laughs> Never gave in. Which the only one on Broadway who has. <laughs> not true. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? We met doing a reading. This is going back. Imagine if you will, fall of 2001. You not did a long reading. after 9-11, so I was looking for some... <laughs> 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 he was looking for musical comedy. Looking for, I was and ready he found for, it. And I found it with Kristen Chenoweth, Julia he Murney. He did. Who else was in that? Colin movie? Hamlin. It was called Fanny Hill. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, did make it off Broadway a couple years later. We, we were not a part of it. Ed Dixon wrote it. Ed Dixon wrote it. Let's not gloss yeah. over that. Neither of you were a part of it. You said. I mean, I did was both of you it. get the axe? I, de I definitely. I was terrible. I, I was sailor number two. Bro, and he was fantastic. Let's write a book about it, guys. How many greens have I been axed from? I can so count many. on almost three hands. Really? I'm yeah. axed. Three hands. Everyone out there, be careful about readings, because it's rare that you will ever stay from the reading to production. To the final. So you met on the reading. What was your first exchange? I'm fly on the wall. But I remember sitting next to Colin because I thought he was adorable. And I just like kind of turned. It was many years ago. Hitting on me. Yeah, this is when Colin was before the was adorable. Before the darkness set in. But he very quickly told me he had a boyfriend at the time. Hello, my name is Colin Hamlin. I'm a serious boyfriend. Thank you. Yeah, 
That's what happened. But so you guys didn't do it. No. no. It's a pure friendship. That's a beautiful thing. It's nice to just have some pals that you haven't been there. <laughs> I got a Why was I so ready for it? Okay. Mis Sorry. Misread that. I misread that too. I thought he was. I thought he was wanting that. Was, something yeah, that was, was really weird. There. I thought of a new segment. A new segment called "Questions to Create Conflict." Who's more talented of the two of you, and why? What are you talking about? Uh, like, Me. Not. <laughs> he and he's had more success. <laughs> but I am more talented. He has more money than I do. Oh, see. But I, I am more talented. This TV, we need to break in. That's fine. Right. What show could we all get cast on? Because I feel like um, so many shows where like three guys just having a good time, right? <laughs> we have a pretty good time. Maybe this will get us that. It won't. Maybe it's a gay show. Maybe Logo, right? <laughs> oh, that's the gay no, one. I love Logo, but is know, that that's the gay network, right? Is that like another I one think called so. like Dick? The other one is HGTV. <laughs> HGTV, you guys watch House Hunters? My roommates do. Oh yeah, of course. House I feel like Hunters that show should national? just be called like, How Marriages Fall Apart. <laughs> I love that. Because I, I, I can't afford anything on there, so, because I'm poor, but more talented. <laughs> <laughs> now I see where this really is going. Next question? Yeah, next question. <laughs> Who's more handsome? I am. He's definitely more handsome. Though. Okay, look at this guy. We're having kind of agreement. See, I only said that because of what he just said. I, I would know. definitely say Colin Hanlon is more Guys, handsome just than I am. No. He's more handsome. I'll give him that. You know what I think it is? Is I think I'm that funnier, though. it's. <laughs> So, I am. Oh, God. <laughs> I did French. What'd you do in the French? How now, Dow Jones? I went to see it, and then what happened? A poor girl in the cast fell down the stairs. Fell down the stairs, and they canceled the performance. That's a very fringy thing to happen, very isn't it? Fringe. it was. Very fringy. They don't have much time okay, to tech and check the safety of things, so there's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah run down that yeah, stair yeah, covered in ice. She's fine now. She's fine now. I feel like if people like, looked at the three of us right now, wouldn't they think we were all about the same age, or would they think I was younger and you guys were like way, way older? Well, I think I look the youngest. <laughs> Look at I this Italian skin. Good. Good. I have yeah. Italian skin. I'm, I'm Tuscany. What are you like, fucking sister? Calabria, you piece of garbage. <laughs> What's your favorite summer. toppings on pizza? Uh, fresh basil. Fresh basil. Mm -hmm. okay. Max took me to dinner, guys. And pizza. Oh. He took me to pizza, and he said that I ordered too much and took advantage of he his kindness. He ordered a lot. He ordered a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Where do you work out? Uh, Equinox. Fancy, oh. huh? Until March, and then it'll be back to my Jane Fonda workout <laughs> videos. Where do you work back out? To I don't work out. Okay, don't get angry, guys. I, my iPhone lost the second half of that interview. We all have iPhone problems, guys. Don't pretend like it's just me. These things, they're great, but they, they, they f*** up sometimes. And I lost the second half of the interview. Hope you liked it. Bye.